and welcome back once more to Let's Play Towns. Um, last time we talked about cooking. Well, I talked about cooking. And you listened to me talking about cooking. I don't know if that qualifies as us talking about cooking or as something else. It's probably more a monologue than a uh, actual conversation. Anyway, our fields are getting along nicely here. I had to reassign some of those uh, planting designations. Still hoping I eventually get this field freed up, but there's one other important thing I kind of forgot, and that is making all this new food here. I want 10 of those, I want 10 banana pies. I finally want banana bread here, 25 of those. We did, after all, build quite a considerable amount of um, banana trees. It's going well. I have to replant them here though. Okay, there, and uh, this has to be done again. Yeah. Great. <coughs> I'll just look at the time. So I know when I have to stop recording. Well, I don't have to, but I know when I want to stop recording. <sighs> okay. We'll just hit the autosave. The last siege also went surprisingly well. I don't know if that's a kind of an excuse of the game for uh, giving me a pretty horrible one before that, or if there is uh, just the random number generator being uh, nice to me for once. Anyway. Uh, right now I can just watch things grow. We also finished that bridge here. We have a safety railing, we have some wooden blocks, we have some, some stones and... It's a silly looking bridge, but it ha it is a bridge. I don't know if I would send a ship down here to test it, but luckily this is no uh, bridge building simulator. So I don't have to see if it actually carries anything other than its own weight, which I would honestly suppose it wouldn't carry, because it was a pretty narrow here. It only holds onto the... Uh, uh, onto the... Uh, now the word slipped me. It's only linked with a very small bit, and it goes quite far out here, so I don't think it is uh, possible to support its own weight or is able to support its own weight. But that's just uh, my assumption, I don't know which uh, stone this is, there is a considerable amount of stone, uh, of different stones, and uh, you'd be well advised to not think they're all equal, uh, especially in terms of how much they can carry and stuff like that. Um, no, I don't want that, I actually want the cave mushrooms. It's nothing that would uh, bother me more than having a field with more than one uh, kind of fruit on it. Okay. <laughs> um, I've actually want, uh, eaten cactus fruits a few times. They are pretty interesting. I don't know how to describe the taste. Um, I think it's pretty unique. Although, I suppose if you live in a country where they are more frequent, you uh, might very well find someone who's able to describe the taste better than me. Uh, see? Remove that designation again. Yeah, they did. <sighs> um, Germany actually doesn't have cactus fruits. We don't even have cacti out of the ones you place on your in a flower pot and enjoy. But we don't have those uh, cactus fruit bearing cacti. I was uh, eating them a few times when I was visiting my father in Spain. Um, yeah, they don't taste bad. They have pretty large seeds, though. Uh, I don't know how to describe them. Uh, I was also told that preparing them for being eaten is actually quite a pain because they are uh, spiky as hell. I don't know if hell's that spiky, but. Uh, you can't even touch those, apparently. 
without gloves and uh, you have to uh, use a broom and um, just push them around on the floor for a while before eating them before you're actually able to touch them and peel them which is uh, needed for eating them <laughs> so it's actually quite the uh, annoying fruit to have and I think if we had a desert town and had those as our main food source our townies would have felt great. I do hope the uh, merchant... Oh, I didn't miss any caged animals with that merchant. I don't think I did though. I hope I didn't miss any. Don't break my hope here. Also Plant something here and there. The banana farm is almost finished. And we will soon have plenty of those lovely fruits uh, up for grabs and consumption. Happiness is still dropping because everybody is kind of busy right now. And as we have already learned, our people hate working. They utterly despise working from the uh, amount of happiness drop we see here. Maybe this dwarf should give him a uh, brief lecture about working morale. I don't know. It would be interesting. Dang it. Uh, I suppose that overrides a few more banana tree uh, planting assignments. I hate you guys. I hate you. So I'll have to reassign that before the place becomes a permanent banana storage field. I'm confident we will uh, very soon finish everything. Do those bananas just uh, drop or are they uh, actually harvested? I have no idea. Okay, let's uh, watch the uh, banana trees being planted and we have another... S no, we have a caravan. A boat. Um. Ooh, it has a caged animal on the back, so uh, it might be one of those traders we dearly have been wanting. And he's going into that plant trap. It doesn't get trapped. Wonderful. Okay, let's see what he has for sale. Let's uh, see how long I'm recording here. Okay, halfway through the video. <coughs> um, I'm kind of glad to see things actually moving around here. Uh, we almost finished that house. In fact, I can uh, do the final rows of the roof tiles in one go because everything is attached to something now and then we can call this done. I can then officially look into uh, making some other things and I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, the trader is ready to trade so let's see what he has. We don't want any of those weapons. We don't want that bad. I actually don't need a sheep in a cage. God damn it. I was hoping he had a cow. Or maybe, uh, do I have sheep? Yeah, I have sheep, right? But I have a sheep farm, so I don't need a caged sheep. Which means I'll have to find another way to get those guys to give me all their money. I don't think there's much of a point in uh, using wooden snake swords, so I'll just sell things here. This and that. There we go, it's pretty exactly uh, the amount they have. Didn't get rid of much, I would have preferred them to actually have brought a cow or maybe two. So we could have finally started building a cow farm. 
then again it means we will have to wait a bit more for finally finishing everything because we still don't have cows. So there is no way we can gain milk and um, there's no way to make some of those things. We still can't make... Uh, actually don't need milk for cooking here, which is kind of odd. Um, uh, for baking, we don't also don't need milk for cooking. Okay. Um. <coughs> Do I have raw poultry? I do think I set up a few... no, I didn't. Well, we have plenty of chickens now, and they keep starving, so let's uh, prevent them from starving by killing them uh, in advance. Let's have ten of those. I still can't have steaks, though. And snowed steaks, because I don't have snowed. Which is, I think, a snow goat. So yeah, there is uh, still some farming we can't set up, but for the most part we are set. Um, once those fields have grown fully, we can also uh, reassign the planting again. I do wish it wouldn't just uh, completely remove the designation and just, uh, I don't know, put it on hold and reassign it once the uh, fruit was taken away. <coughs> So that's another design decision I would like to see included. So if the guys making towns actually watch this, those are my suggestions. I will just drop them randomly when I... Uh, while I record. And um, yeah, maybe you want to go on the forums and suggest those things. Maybe they have been suggested already. We just hit another siege. It's only those three slimes this time. Now I don't think this siege is actually worth considering. Or did they bring something uh, on the ground? No. Absolutely not. It seems to be only those three guys. Maybe they have been uh, slow and would have actually belonged to the uh, previous siege. I don't know. And we will never know. Okay, that is full. That is not yet full. But there is still some stuff left over here. Okay. I think now that this uh, food situation is mostly taken care of, I say mostly well knowing that it is actually not taken care of. Um, oh, they are already taken to the uh, bakery. I probably shouldn't have uh, made those pies just yet. Let me unassign that. Once I finish that, uh, finish replanting, I suppose this should go down again. Okay, I'll undo that. It was probably a mistake to set it that high. I will. Uh, yeah, let's finish planting them first. Once we have that sorted out, we can make all the pie out of it we want. go, the green slimes have arrived and they are probably dead already. So yeah, this siege wasn't that impressive. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of harmless. This is an unassigned field again. Yikes. Also, that is unassigned, although I think there might have been something lying around there. Let's see how the banana fields are. Almost full is out of that one tiny field over there. 
So now I actually have to uh, tell them to make banana bread and banana pie. Let's make 20 because we can. Actually, no, let's set everything to 10. No, we're auto saving. Um, okay, set that to 10, and that to 10, and uh, that to 10. No, that's to 0. Uh, still want to actually have those planted. Okay, the cactus fields are looking fine. Still, well, not that much to go, but I, but I think we can make a lot of cactus soup out of that. <coughs> Um, the thing is, I don't know, it just seems like they are, well that's a pretty large field and I don't know if we can ever use that entirely, especially with all the uh, other food we're getting. Ooh, we just use up some of that wheat, so uh, time to plant more mushrooms. I think the uh, Minecraft version of uh, mushroom farming is actually a bit more realistic. You just have one and let it spread naturally instead of harvesting them, but we are not exactly in the realm of realism here anyway. So I don't criticize that. I think the uh, farming mechanic is, while being unrealistic, it's okay. It uh, does its job well. Simple as that. It does its job well. So did I uh, actually put up gathering? Yeah, I turned into garden flowers. But we are currently more busy with the uh, more important items, so... I don't like that. Someone remove that banana. And this snow cherry. Which I now have to reassign for planting. Ugh. Sometimes farming is a pain. What do we call that? More gardening or orcharding? I don't know. Is there a thing as orcharding? Is that a hobby? Like you make your own orchard? <laughs> Probably not. Just take the plumbing banana. I oh, will soon be uh, <laughs> basically swimming in bananas. I already see that coming. <coughs> But for now, this uh, concludes our episode. We will never again be short of bananas. Which means um, there will be no GDR jokes. Actually, there will be, there just was one. Um, to those of you who don't know, the GDR is nowadays pretty famous for not having bananas because um, those were tropical fruits and people just didn't have access to them, so if they were like for sale, there were large groups waiting for them, and uh, large queues and stuff. So it was always... Uh, I don't know, it, <laughs> it's, it's hard to imagine nowadays, but... Um, it's something the eastern part of Germany is kind of famous for. And uh, people sometimes make, make fun of us, uh, of the inhabitants here, by just referring to that banana situation in one way or another. I don't know. There are millions of jokes, not literally, but lots of them. Anyway, uh, we once more conclude the episode with um, something about bananas. Things you might have not known about them. I don't know why I'm talking about bananas here. Maybe because they're a fun topic. And you know what? I'm going to eat one now. 
So until next time, until next time, bye.